We've already built several terraces, but this time we will be using composite panels. They can never be attached straight onto the boards, but will have to be attached invisibly. In this video, we show you the best way to go about this. We're working on a concrete subsoil. That concrete plate must have been poured and hardened already. Do you still have to do this? Then check dobit.be for a video in which we explain how to take care of it. I will build my terrace on a concrete subsoil. As a result, water cannot get through, which ensures drainage to the garden. Start with the understructure. I use an alloy understructure. It is the most durable, so it does not rust, nor does it rot. In order to place the support structure, you will need a set of keys, a hammer drill, drive anchors, and a hacksaw. Evidently, you will need the alloy bottom beams and the brackets to fasten them. Rubber pads ensure damping of the sounds of footsteps. The alloy profiles have two slots. Place the brackets in the most shallow slot. The bolts have a groove on the bottom that corresponds with the direction of the mounting plate. This is convenient for fixing the bolts. For the time being, fix them by hand. Position the brackets every 50 centimeters. Are the rails too long? Then you will need to shorten them using the hacksaw. Before you start installing, shove an end clamp into the bottom beams. Push them into the opening of the clips using a screwdriver. Do this beforehand as we are working against the facade. Once the bottom beams are fixed, you cannot reach them anymore. Before attaching the first bottom beam, I check if it is perfectly aligned against the facade. I do that by using a simple trick based on the numbers 3, 4 and 5. This trick is based on the Pythagorean theorem that states that if you measure a multiple of 3 on the one side and a multiple of 4 on the other side, you should have an equal multiple of 5 when measuring the longest side of a right angle. Then you can fix the first and last bottom beam. In between, you fix a mason twine as a reference for the distance between the rest of the bottom beams. Anchor the bottom beams by drilling into the opening of the rail and fixing it with a drive anchor. Do not yet attach the brackets too much to the bottom beams. If you need to bridge a longer length, then you can connect two bottom beams with a connect bracket. This ensures sufficient firmness over the full length. I've already provided 150 centimeters of alloy beams. All I have to do now is attach an extra beam at the beginning and the end. That's to prevent the terrace from changing shape, and I do that at a distance of 20 centimeters from the first beam. Once all the beams have been mounted into the concrete, you can level them by using a long rail, or even better, use a level. Put the beams in the beginning and in the end on one line, and then fix the brackets. Then you have to place a rubber pad under the beams. This will dampen the noise from the alloy on the concrete. In some areas, the concrete will not be even, and a glazing block will have to be added. With all of the bottom beams in place, you can install the first composite board. Slide them into the end clamps you've applied before. In order to complete the installment of the boards, you will need an electric screwdriver, the clips and a hacksaw. The other rows need to be fixed with plastic clips. Slide them in between the boards and screw them down with the drill bit included. 
This is a work that moves along quickly and you will see your terrace evolving rapidly. Anyway, you will have to customize a board at some point, but with an ordinary hacksaw, it's an easy task. If you want to work faster, you can use a miter saw. This will make your work progress more rapidly. I'm building a terrace with composite panels. These come in different shades, and for every panel I can choose from different decorations. So each side has a different decoration. The panels I use are full panels. I don't use solid panels. These have a foam core which makes them lighter than solid panels, but they maintain their strength. The plastic clips you use for the boards cannot rust. The clips also enable you to maintain the same distance between the boards. This ensures a beautiful result and a correct expansion joint. In this case, the full length of a board is insufficient to bridge the terrace. Therefore, we add another one on the side. You cannot attach two boards to a bottom beam. That's why we placed an extra bottom beam to ensure sufficient support at the seam. Maintain an expansion joint as well. In between two boards, there should be at least 10 millimeters, and on the sides where the terrace meets the wall, 15 millimeters. Against this wall, we still have a recess. Using the jigsaw, you can customize this board as well to ensure good fitment. In order to fix the terrace, I've been using the same plastic clamps, except for the beginning where I used metal clamps. I will use the same metal clamps at the end to fix the terrace. This job requires a hammer and a screwdriver. Make sure you use a reinforced screwdriver so you can hit it with the hammer. To finish the border of the terrace, you have to install an alloy border. This ensures that the front sides, the end clamps on the bottom beam and the bottom beams themselves are hidden. There you have it, a perfect terrace for you. A composite terrace is fairly easy to maintain. You don't have to spend much time on it, so you can enjoy the sun longer. If you want to watch this episode again, you can visit our website, dobbit.be. On the website, you can also subscribe to our online magazine, so you can stay updated. Please join me for my next project. Till next time.